I am so excited. All my family and friends are coming over here for Thanksgiving this year, and I am getting everything ready. So in today's show, I wanna quickly show you how I created my beautiful Thanksgiving table using the candle operas that I made, pears and pumpkins, and almost everything from the dollar store. And how you can decorate an elegant table yourself for less. Okay, to start, I have a couple of tablecloths on my table. Um, one is a champagne color at the bottom and then a white tablecloth on top of that. The runner that goes across from one end to the next is a runner that I made using four Dollar Tree runners in white and burlap ribbon that I attached to the middle and the sides to hold them all together. If you click on the link above, you can see how I originally made this runner. But I do use this runner a lot for just about all of my holiday table settings. In the center of the table, I will be using my candle opera I made a couple weeks ago. I used all Dollar Tree items to make this, and if you click on the link above, you can see how these were made. Okay, so this is the mirror base I made for the candle opera, and I'm gonna place that right in the center of the table at an angle, so it looks like a diamond. And before I put the candle pieces down, this year I wanna add some fresh flowers. I'm gonna put a small bowl of roses, light colored roses, and I'm placing them in a small round bowl face that I also got from Dollar Tree. I'm placing the flowers in a center front quadrant of this mirror base, and then I'm gonna add my candle pieces. I have four of these candle holders that go with this candle opera piece, but I'm only gonna put three on the table. I don't wanna cover up the flowers completely, so I'll leave the front open but I'm gonna push the bowl closer to the center so that um, it is in the center of the table. Next, I'm adding some flowers and foliage I found at Dollar Tree, and I love these pieces because they have a real realistic look. The leaves are furry, they look really delicate, and for the flowers, I'm gonna be using pastel colors, um, something light like the roses. So I'm just gonna slide these in through the pieces in the vase and put them pretty close to uh, the flowers. And I'm just alternating yellow and violet flowers around the front and the back. Next, I'll start extending these flowers out long ways down the middle. And I give it some brown colors to add some fall with these foxtails and some brown berries, some more green foliage. And whatever I add, I try to mirror on the other side of the piece so it looks the same all the way around. Also, I wanna start fanning these flowers out. I want them to kinda of extend from the bouquet of roses so it looks like one piece. Even though the roses are the only thing that's in the vase, I want them all to look like they're coming from the center. So I found these little tea roses I made a while back out of coffee filters, and um, I used this for another project, but I had a bunch of them. They look very similar to the roses that I have on the table. So I'm gonna use this as an extension of roses in my piece here. I'm gonna. Just place a few of them in a line going down the table. Also, if you wanna see how I made these tea roses out of coffee filter, just click on the link above and you'll see that video. I have a few hydrangea bushes that have dried up for the fall. So I thought I'd take advantage of these beautiful flowers. Even when they're dried, they still look beautiful. So I'm gonna add a few of these to my table to add some texture and a little more fall. But if you don't have dried hydrangeas, um, Dollar Tree also has hydrangeas. They'll probably be more colorful, but I think they'll look just as nice. 
Next I'm adding some little white pumpkins. I want my colors to be contrast between the fall and light and pastel-y colors, so I'm only using the white pumpkins. And take a look at these gorgeous pears. I think this adds just a perfect pop of color. Just enough to make a statement, but still leaving it with a nice soft look. I also decided to add a few of these tiny pumpkin picks to lighten it up a bit more. And I also wanted to add some pine cones for fall, but I didn't want it to be too dark. So I picked up a bag of pine cones from Dollar Tree and to lighten it up, I just put a wash of acrylic paint and water over the pine cones. And I think that added just the perfect finishing touches to my centerpiece. Okay, so now it's time to add my place settings. And I'm starting with this beautiful gold metallic charger plate. I got this from Dollar Tree. I couldn't believe it when I saw these. I'm using white plates with gold rim topped with a bowl. And for my napkins, I have a few choices. This bluish green um, shimmery color. I have this um, champagne colored napkin. And that matches the flowers really well. And I also have this green linen napkin. And look at this, that is beautiful. That goes just perfect with those pears. So I think I'm gonna have to use this napkin. But I only have four of these. So I think what I'm gonna do is use a combination of the two, um, maybe just use two um, of the champagne on the end to match the flowers and the green for the pears. Okay, to fold my napkin, I'm gonna do something different. I saw this somewhere. So let's see if we can fold our napkins into a bow. So I'm gonna take the corners down on the ends and then fold them into themselves so it's like a long um, tube. And then I'm gonna place a napkin ring in the center. This napkin ring I made with some twine rope and I spray painted it gold. So next I'm gonna take the corner of one end and push it into the bottom part of the napkin ring. And then take the other corner and do the same thing. I'm gonna push that into the bottom part of the napkin ring. And then I'm gonna pull those two ends down and this will create what looks like a bow. Now Dollar Tree does not sell napkins, but I have used a napkin substitute from Dollar Tree. It's um, long and silky and actually perfect for making a napkin. It just happens to be a pillowcase. If you unfold these, it's actually big enough to make two large napkins. You just have to sew each in and you'll have two large silky napkins for a dollar. But anyway, after laying out my crystal and my silverware and lighting my candle opera, I think my table is ready for Thanksgiving. So I hope you all have a wonderful, joyous, festive Thanksgiving, and I will see you in the next video. Want more detailed instructions on some of these projects? On my Etsy store, for just a few dollars, you can get instant digital downloads of full color step-by-step -step instructions with templates for some of your favorite projects. And check out my Amazon page where you can pick up my multi-surface acrylic metallic paint.
back in stock with eight beautiful shimmering colors. You can mix millions of colors and create endless home beauty for indoor and outdoor projects. And while you're there, pick up my Book of Elegant Home Crafts Volume 1. With all your favorite projects together in one big beautiful colored step-by-step -step instruction book. You can now get separate e-project booklets and also full color printed project booklets will be available on Amazon. On my Amazon page, you'll see all my favorite crafting tools and supplies used on this show and you can add them all to your cart for the one click fast and easy shopping and delivery convenience of Amazon. I'll be working every day to make crafting fun and easy for you. Follow me at Your House of Home and Your House of Home TV on all social media for extra home, food, and gardening tips.